Hello and welcome to another update video about Cardano. Thanks for everybody who attended the live stream yesterday. We found some patterns, we found some support levels yesterday together in the live stream and we drew a scenario on the chart and this is again what has played out. So I woke up this morning and saw that this really actually played out as we said. So whoever wants to have a look at the live stream yesterday, you can, but it's quite long, but that's a scenario we showed there. And I said, that's for me what probably will happen. So really nice how that played out. Bear in mind, we can always be wrong. So you always need to come to your own conclusions. I don't want to give any advice here on this channel because, you know, I, I don't know your uh, life situation, everything. I can't give you any advice, but this channel is about making sense of the Cardano price moves. We are all excited about the Cardano price and the project. So that's why we all enjoy looking at it. Let's continue. Let's take a look at the prices first here on CoinMarketCap. We can actually see that um, Cardano, even though there was now a drop to 285, 287, um, we are still in the positive, really nice. Bitcoin has lost a little bit in momentum, but we are taking a closer look at that. Let's take a look first at Bitcoin. And that is what we can see here on the Bitcoin chart, by the way. I've now chosen a dark background as I made a poll yesterday. Most of you guys seem to enjoy the dark background better. Hope that works for most people. Um, let's take a look at the Bitcoin chart. So what we saw yesterday that Bitcoin is actually still in this main pattern, this over um, ascending wedge, this yellow basically pattern that we can see here, the ascending wedge with two nearly parallel lines, but they are not parallel. They are actually um, converging. But within that, we have another pattern which has just formed, which is another ascending wedge. And that allows us to predict price moves to a certain degree because these oftentimes play out. It's never guaranteed, but they oftentimes do. Um, and what we can see here that, um, yeah, we talked about Bitcoin potentially dropping down to the 49K and it actually did. Yes, we slightly were below 49, but it gained support here at this support level. Yesterday, we finished the, night, the live stream some point here and um, nine o'clock UK time. And it actually found support for a short period on the 50-day uh, moving average on the hourly chart, but then dropped again. But now we are at a crucial point because this is, I'm not sure if this is really a double top Probably not, but it looks a little bit like that. So as long as we hold this support level here, I think we're quite good. And this is obviously like the 49,300 at the moment. So we need to hold that level. If we drop below that, we've got the 200 day moving average here. And then the next level, so th that level would be somewhere at around 47 and a half. And the next one for me is like at 46 and a half because this is the lower support level of this um, ascending wedge. Now, as long as Bitcoin can stay within this red channel, we can actually get up to 51K, possibly even today as we did yesterday. Um, however, what we can see is that it is losing a little bit in momentum. We can see that on the RSI, that lately Bitcoin has lost momentum. So especially on the hourly here, um, throughout yesterday, we're making lower highs and even though we've peaked again we see another lower high here so a little bit of a downward trend on the rsi we're also in below the 50 now but that is the hourly one so it's probably worth having a look what we are doing on the four hour chart which is a little bit more meaningful but even there we can see that we are making something like lower highs here so seems to be losing momentum a little bit. There you go. And it's this divergence. It's actually called a bearish divergence where the price is actually going up, but we're making still, you know, not necessarily higher highs in the, yeah, actually at the moment we haven't managed to get to the, yeah, no, we still make higher highs, but the acceleration of making these higher highs gets down. So we're slowing down a little bit. And however, here on the four hour chart, we are still in bullish territory. And let's have a look on the daily one. 
again lower highs we are making so bitcoin seems to be losing a little bit in momentum so we need to guys we need to closely really closely ob observe that we don't want to be too optimistic here and then miss the point where bitcoin could be dropping so it is really crucial especially as we get closer to this 50k level which is really um an or 50 50 to 52 especially 52 we showed it here with this um, resistance line so maybe it will take us to the 52 now but that's an important level it provided really heavy support and resistance before so it's really crucial and if we take a look here at daily again the rsi pretty much on a very very slight um, downward trend very slightly which is not necessarily bad. We are still in bullish area here because we needed to get out of the overbought territory anyway. The good thing is that on the daily, we've got a 20 day moving average here providing support. This blue line, pretty much where this yellow ascending wedge is running. So that's a good sign. It's very close the 20 day moving average. And that is because Bitcoin really has been trading in this range for a while. It's, it's going up very slowly, but it is. And here on the daily, I mean, the MACD is going green, losing a little bit of momentum at the moment. Um, awesome oscillator still green, I suppose, with that 20 day moving average down here and the ascending wedge, hopefully providing support. And it already provided support that we should hopefully get up to a 51K again. But we must, we must accept here that Bitcoin is losing momentum a little bit. Even on the weekly, we can see that the RSI is losing momentum so it is time to be a bit careful we made that bullish cross on the macd which makes me very positive but it is still the time to be careful we can't overly hype this it would be dangerous it would not be responsible you all need to understand as well that this could carry on and we could see something like that where bitcoin was losing momentum and then we see a correction so it's important to understand that it could be coming anytime. At the moment, it looks like we're still in bullish territory, but again, it could continue to lose momentum as we approach this 52K line. Now, what is Cardano doing at the moment? Cardano, really good start of the week. Really, really awesome start of the week. Made a live stream yesterday. Hourly chart here at the moment. What we saw yesterday, first of all, that breakout. I mean, that was even the day before breakout of this um converging triangle trend continuation pattern we called it after that live stream a day ago um yeah like, like or nearly two days ago now we broke out as we said we could do because of that moving average here providing support so that helped now we are in this um ascending ascending channel or we were ascending channels normally trend continuation patterns bullish but um, it's not like a bullish flag where you normally get a huge breakout to the upside. It's normally, um, sometimes these can form in a bear market as well. Now, clearly we're not in a bear market, but what I did say in yesterday's video, and I, I drew this channel here, and I believe we were that some, somewhere here. No, we were here at this tipping point. That's when I closed the live stream. We were at this tipping point here where I said, guys, this looks to me like a triangle. So we could be breaking out to the upside here, but we could be trading within this channel for a while. Now, I said we could be trading in this channel until we reach the $3, and that is exactly what we did overnight. And then we could move out of this channel. And why did I say that? I mean, you can check it on the live stream. I said this is for me likely because this is another move. It's not the same move that we saw here when we broke out to the upside it's not the same pattern when we broke to the upside we had a triangle forming and that happened pretty much the last few times um, we always had triangles forming here as well didn't draw it but this is a triangle formation before we had a huge breakout to the upside and whenever we had such an ascending channel like the last time here we saw a slight consolidation first which is actually a good thing so i really like to see these slight like, consultations, maybe it wouldn't be healthy to just go through the $3 in one move and then um, have problems later because this, these developments here 
they provide really strong support and resistance levels. You know, you get a chance to build these. And for me now it's crucial, you know, do we, do we potentially go back into this, um, into this channel even? Looks like, I mean, we've broken out clearly, but what could happen if Bitcoin really, and it's currently going up again, if Bitcoin really is continuing to follow this ascending wedge and, <coughs> sorry, and in, if we see on the, let's say on the four hour chart that we might actually be trading our way up to 51K again. So up here somewhere then Cardano could maybe reach, again, maybe reach it to $3 today, um, somewhere here. Because overall, Cardano looks really bullish, a lot of anticipation, a lot of expectation. Um, hard to say now because we broke to the downside. So if we say we continue what we did before, it might just be like what we did here, where we had one, two, um, and it took nearly a day, one and a half days, really to, to get further momentum to the upside so that is something that i could believe could happen now we currently see a nice engulfing candle here on the one hour chart so we need to wait for the next candle but that's called an un engulfing candle which is a really bullish candle but bear in mind this is only the daily uh, the hourly chart so engulfing because this really engulfs the previous red candle big bullish move um, but only on the one hour chart. So it's not really that meaningful here, but what are the next support levels? Should we drop? What do you need to look out for today? In my opinion, the next big one here is the 50 day moving average, which is at 273 at the moment. Bear in mind, this is always going up, but also this is only on the hourly one. So on the hourly one, the 273 is sort of a minor support level, but it provided really good support for Cardano in the last few weeks. What we need to bear in mind then, we've got the, um, this is always moving, but then the next huge support area for me is here. It's between the, like the 247, which was a old all time high pretty much. So in that range from 245, pretty much too far to 245 to 255. In this range here, there are various support levels, which have now built over the last few days. And the 245 pretty much is then the old all time high. And between that level, we should find comfortable support here. If we should we break to the downside, but as I said at the moment, at least here in the short term, we should move up at the moment. This candle is really positive engulfing candle, um, but the hour hasn't closed yet. So we need to see how that candle is closing. Then we need to see, do we get back into this channel? I hope we will because it might take us up or a new pattern might be forming. Seems like that pattern has now actually been invalidated now that we've moved out, but we can always move in again and that would take us through the $3. This of course all depends on Bitcoin now, but Bitcoin, as I just said, already going up in value. This seems to provide support, this lower um, support level of that ascending wedge. Let's take a quick look again. The four hour chart for Cardano to find another support level. For me here, another support level is on the four hour chart, the 20 day moving average, because these have different values on the different time frames. More meaningful to me than the one hour chart. 266 is currently the 20 day moving average. And again, I think it should we should we break below the 20 day moving average on the hourly. We still have the four hour chart here and um, that could support here. But then for me, that range here between 245, 255, various support levels in that range. And we shouldn't break below that. Hopefully not. I think we're still bullish. Um, it's all looking very good. We just need that small consolidation as we did here on the 20th of August, you know, for one or two days where we had that consolidation that helped us to build further support and resistance levels. And um, yeah, but by all means, we had the 297 tonight, seems like that. And that was another all time high. So again, really good. You don't make new all time highs in the bear market. So for me, clear uptrend at some point, there will be a correction, but I think this week will be a very positive one for Cardano. But bear in mind, we're getting closer to the point where at some point there probably needs to be a correction. And if that happens, it's good for anybody who's holding long term because we can all buy more ADA at a lower price 
and huge things are coming. I mean, tomorrow we'll have the rollout in Japan where Japanese customers can finally buy ADA. That is a really, really good move and will help more buyers to come in. I showed yesterday in the live stream that many people are looking for Cardano in Japan on Google Trends. So that shows me people are waiting for Cardano. Then we also have the Alonso 360 update. And um, yeah, exciting times. So at the moment, again, all looking good. And of course, there will be an up an another update later. I said nobody can guarantee that we're going up further. I think I said in previous videos, the $3 mark is an important psychological mark. And we just need the volume to get through it. But we're creeping, you know, we're moving closer towards that $3 mark. And yesterday, 297 clear sign for me that we are getting closer and the rejection that we had, to be honest, it's not a huge one from 297 to where were we? 283. And now we already, the bears are losing momentum again, green candles forming. So all looking positive for me at the moment and bear in mind, any consolidation doesn't mean that we are entering a bear market. It is probably in the first instant, first instance, first a slight consolidation and what we can see is that the red candles after there was a rejection are really getting smaller slightly smaller here another smaller candle we're already making um no new lows anymore and that could now help us to get up again at least on the one hour chart and we need to watch bitcoin closely but it seems to be good as well all right so hopefully that video was helpful. There'll be another update video later today. Hopefully it can help you to make sense of the latest price moves. If you liked it, please smash the like button. And if you want to follow me on this crypto journey, please subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.